at player there, number eight. Australian lock forward today joins an illustrious band of footballers who've represented their country in two codes, rugby union and rugby league. He deserves his selection on his recent displays and will prove a major hurdle for the Kiwis with his non-stop style of play. And the New Zealand side. Come on and let's go through it. At fullback, Chris Jordan, Fred Arcoy, Olsen Filipana, Dennis Williams, Dane O'Hara, John Smith, Ken Sterling is captain, Murray Eade, Tony Cole, Ray Baxendale, Lindsay Proctor, Glenn Taylor and Alan Rushton. The coach, Ron Acklin. Well, Sydney fans looking to see this player, number three, Olsen Filipina. He's created a very good impression with his hard straight running and his great positional sense. I'm sure that Sydney fans will enjoy the way he busts tackles. Now, this could be the start of a long representative career if he goes well against the experienced pair, Cronin and Rogers. Eddie Ward, the referee, it's a blast on the whistle and we've got them underway. It's a high, deep kick. Edie takes that, well gives it to Faye. Strong, hard running player this far. Busts the first tackle, brings it out to uh, about four metres from the quarter line. There's a penalty against uh, Murray Ede there for an infringement in the play of the ball. She gets a mixed reception from the crowd, quite a bit of booing for that. Rogers to take the kick. And uh, it's not a bad kick. He's uh, nine and a half metres from uh, halfway. George Paponis. Olling. Tough. Parramatta prop forward. He was in the Australian World Series side last year. Pierce. And Thompson. He was under a cloud with a leg strain on Thursday but came through a late fitness test OK. On the blind side. Fulton. Ready. Well to take that, it was down low and uh, he had to stop, uh, put his arms down. Pierce acting as a link, following straight and hard on the halfway line. Well, Murray Eid getting through some good defensive stuff early. There's Fulton kicking, tactically. And uh, that's a grabber type kick that Fulton will do, uh, I'd imagine, a fair bit of today. Master of the tactical kick. Now, it'll be interesting to see just how... Queensland, the uh, New Zealanders go for the ball. Play on the referee, says Sterling. Very experienced New Zealand skipper. That's Ede at uh, dummy half, and he makes a charge. He's a big lump of a lad. Well, there's the first spill of the game. It's gone backwards. The referee, now the referee saw a knock on. Proctor unable to handle that. Proctor's the left uh, prop, the outside prop for New Zealand. The giant fellow with a moustache there is uh, very heavily strapped on both knees. Well, Morris got that, but uh, rather luckily. Price, first touch of the ball. Typical bustling run. Paponis. Ian Tom, uh, Rod Reddy. John. At the same height as Ian Thompson. They're only about a 22 metres out now. Morris onto Ian Thompson now. Thought better of giving the pass. About uh, three metres inside the quarter. Fulton with the first bomb. Oh, it's anybody's. Did that hit the crossbar? Yes, it was a... Uh, a beautiful kick in the sense of putting uh, New Zealand fullback Jordan under all sorts of pressure. Fulton usually aims for the post somewhere so that uh, they have uh, problems with uh, the ball maybe touching. It did on that occasion. And that'll be a knock on. No, knock back, the referee says. Well, I disagree. The ball definitely went towards the opponent's goal line. Ready was the man. The Paponis, Pierce. Price swivels through one, two, still going. Takes it up to about three metres now from the uh, New Zealand long pass out there to uh, Bowster. He crawls infield about four metres. Ian Thompson was the passer for Panis. Fulton, ready, standing out wide. Nice pass to Cronin. He's taken well head on there. 
by uh, John Smith. Long pass out to Fulton. Fulton accelerates. Oh, what a great tackle again. And that was Dennis Williams, the mustachioed New Zealand centre Fay. And that's the sixth tackle. Right on the New Zealand quarter line and pressure already being built up by this Australian side in the opening six minutes. Another scrum into Australia. Clean heel too. Price. A lock forward standing off the scrum. Smith underneath him. Ready. Basketball pass. Knocked through by uh, Williams. It'll be a knock on, but uh, it was a rather sloppy pass there. Sterling to feed. Referee telling him where he wants it. Penalty to Australia. specifically the hooker, Glenn Taylor, who finished up on the broad of his back. Now, uh, this is uh, purely from a, uh, a sideline point of view. There's no bucket of gold attached to it, but uh, as I mentioned, Cronin has had a marvellous sequence. Barry, a little bit more about uh, Cronin's kicking form this year. Eight game for New, for New South Wales against Queensland. So this is number 20. I believe the record goes back many years, about 59 years. Yes, uh, that's right. Back in the 1913, I think, or somewhere along those. Somebody kicked 23 or 4 or... 26, I think. 26 right? goals. Anyway, Cronin now, purely academic. It's uh, a kick at goal. 1919, I'm informed. Breeze slightly behind and across from right to left. Well, there's number 20. An opening score in this test match in Australia after uh, seven and a half minutes of play have gone to a two points to nil lead. Faye, Morris, Rogers, Cronin. Stood up on the tackle. It's a pass away, very late, out to Morris, Edie. sparing guy but he's come back in field well he'll probably not go close to scoring who was the diver there was it Jordan back Jordan just touched his leg oh gee that was a, a great incisive run let's see it again from the little fella uh, just to get an idea of the pace from side on as uh... and a penalty to uh, Australia will give us the opportunity to see that uh, how close that was Now there was the pass from Edie. He came inside his uh, opposite number, uh, Dane O'Hara, and there was the despairing dive that just managed to get his left foot. He was still running with his feet off the ground. He may have even got to his feet and gone again, but the defence had sort of overrun him there. And then came the big crushing tackle from Alan Rushton to put him down, and that stopped the uh, rush for Australia. Good work from Edie. Nice little bit of football from uh, Bosted, and a good last ditch tackle by Jordan which certainly saved a certain five pointer he'd have gone right round underneath post Cronin a metre and a half outside the quarter ten metres in from the sideline oh it looks a beautiful kick that's 21 in a row and he's second today Australia four New Zealand nil. Well, uh, we've had uh, 12 minutes of play now. 12 and a half. Australia started in a very steady fashion, getting their two penalties, and now Terry Fay. Big left wing three quarter. Plays with the South Sydney Club. Graham Olling. Rod Reddy. St George. Lock forward mostly with them, but been playing in the second row this year. Ian Thompson. 
his first test match for Australia. Giant of a youngster. How old is he, Barry? 21. About 16 stone and about 6 foot 3. Out they go, along the line to Fulton, onto Rogers. Rogers with that incisive pace of his, throws the dummy and he's accelerated himself right into the clear. Oh, blimey, he's got them completely. This is a magnificent run by Rogers. And goes right underneath the post. That was a run from his own side of halfway. And uh, that is a positive embarrassment. But let's see it again. Show the class of this top Australian setter. The dummy, they hang off and then go into the big long strides as he comes away with that beautiful relaxed style of his to uh, completely put the uh, New Zealand defence at uh, a loss. And from head on, it looked this way. <laughs> the pass from Fulton. Roger stepped and came back inside Alston Filipina and kept on coming back inside. And then he was right into the clear and it was really a foregone conclusion from that point as we see him come right away. Score underneath the post. Now we'll take Mick Cronin's kick at goal because we want to make sure that we don't miss any scores. And there's the big dive. Back to Cronin's conversion of that kick. It's successful. And Australia already have uh, assumed a, a terrific lead. Nine points to nil. Well, they have two hookers in the front row, don't they? Uh, wasn't uh, Rushton a hooker too? Alan Rushton's a hooker for his club, Eastern Suburbs in Christchurch in the South Island. Dane O'Hara. Chris Cross. Uh, Murray Eade coming on the burst. They're only about eight metres away. Rushworth. Williams. This is Cole coming straight and hard. He's a goer. Tony Cole. Short uh, steps. Gets moving quickly. And uh, Ray Baxadale now only uh, about three metres away. Williams trying, I think, to get a kick in there, but he's had to get a pass away. There's a grubber kick through. Taken by Edie. I don't know what uh, Glenn Taylor's intention was with that type of kick. It's a penalty. Proctor being penalised for an infringement there. So Rogers will relieve the pressure for Australia. Nine nil. Australia lead. A try. Steve Rogers with a magnificent gallop right through about seven defenders. And uh, the remorseless Nick Cronin three from three in the goal area. Ray Price on the halfway line. Paponis. Morris throws a little dummy. There's a little run. Proctor finishes him off there. On the blind side, Paponis. Olling. Got a pass away, it's gone to ground. Rogers, uh, Fulton realised he was offside there. Had he fallen on it, it would have been a penalty. Olsen Filipina doing his best to evade Fulton, but Fulton won't let go. And a penalty against the Australian three-quarter line, all offside. Well, Ward keeping both sides pretty well apart. That's not a bad kick. Ten metres from the quarter. Watching the way of imagination there uh, from Dana O'Hara just to tap it and go straight ahead. Lindsay Proctor. The pass away to me, but he couldn't hold that. That would have meant uh, a bit more gain had he done so. to feed. That's a penalty to New Zealand. And we'll give Jordan, I believe, the uh, first opportunity to kick a goal. Uh, Jordan Barry was originally a centre with this touring party. Centre and wing, was he? That's correct. He plays with Alice in New Zealand, in Auckland, uh, mainly as a centre. And uh, evidently his foreman uh, 
of handling the ball on the air was uh, sufficiently good to get him a fullback berth in this uh, first test. talking going out there on the field. Jordan adopts the straight up and down style. Stocky player. It's about... Uh, just outside the quarter line, he's about uh, 20 metres in from the sideline. Nothing wrong with that. Good kick. First blood to New Zealand. Australia nine. New Zealand two. Oh, well, Morris has gone hard from the dummy uh, right from the base of that uh, scrum, and uh, so close to getting into the clear. Fulton. Price. Three and a half minutes to half time. 9 2, Australia lead. Only the one try so far. New Zealand have stuck pretty well with their guns defensively as Papanis runs from dummy half up over the quarter line. Australia back standing very deep now. Ready. Morris, Fulton, little chip over. Here they come. Taken well, Ahara drops it. Six for Australia. Bosted has it. He's only about three metres away. That was a bad error. Fulton. Offside pass. I don't think there's any doubt about that pass, Barry. No, definitely forward. Yes, and Sterling uh, Smith, on the, Smith on the ground was the man who tried to stop Fulton coming straight and hard like that. There was a try on there, but uh, Fulton had overrun the pass. Dennis Williams. Is he Proctor? Or he Ede? Lock forward. Smith's okay now, he's on his feet and coming back into position. Baxter Dale, about 12 metres from halfway, midfield. Cole there onto uh, Dennis Williams, showing a bit of footwork ability on that occasion. Pierce the tackler. A couple of metres short of the halfway line. Referee Eddie Ward points to the Australians and tells them to go back. Williams kicking tactically again. And uh, the bounce favours Australia. Eddie's got it, came back in field. Away to Fay. Fay carrying the ball in the wrong arm. Kicks. Chasing through. Jordan's under pressure. Oh, blimey, what's the bounce? Ready has it. Good move by Fay. Zealand still coming back on side as Fulton gets it away to Morris. Cronin. Cronin to Rogers. Rogers slips and uh, has to go low to take that one. Pierce on the blind side. Way to Morris. Cronin. Fulton. And Thompson. He's made any errors today uh, with his uh, handling. Yes, Fulton, Price, last tackle. Fulton's positioned himself there to put it up as the half-time hooter goes with the score 9-2. Jordan takes that well under pressure and at the half-time break we have a scoreline which reads Australia 9, New Zealand 2. Restart play with a Rogers kick. It's been knocked back in field. It went the required distance, but uh, then ricocheted over the sideline. So a scrum will restart play with Australia leading nine points to two. One try and three goals from three attempts to McCronin. The try was to Rogers and the goal to New Zealand. Their two points scored by Jordan. The first penalty of the second half. Uh, he, uh, I think he's penalised the uh, New Zealand hooker Glenn Taylor there for going down before he told him to. Now Rogers. 
Cronin not going to attempt the goal from 40 metres. Rogers' kick is a fine one. That's uh, about 12 metres out. That's a, a great kick. It puts Australia into a very, very good attacking position early on. Graham Owing taking it up to the New Zealanders. And he's burst through one tackle. Oh, he's nearly in. Almost hung up over the line. The New Zealanders still enjoying their uh, half-time break, I think. The bonus in. But that's the worst possible start for New Zealand. Well, George Papanis, who makes a habit of scoring tries from uh, that position, has gone in to score a try in his very first test match. Now, here was the break by Olling, which uh, put the uh, New Zealanders under pressure. They looked to me to be sluggish, as if they hadn't really got themselves back into a test match frame of mind. And uh, from that, it's showing play the ball. As our side on camera will show you, George Papanis bulldozed his way and gets the ball down just in the end goal area. We'll have a look at the front on shot to... As Mick Cronin... Now you'll see the ponus there. This is a more or a clearer view, we hope, of it. Well, you'll have to... There's the ball down underneath the legs there of the... Uh, New Zealand player who was on top. Now Cronin attempting to make it 23 kicks, successful kicks in a row. He's done it. Blimey, what form he's in. The golden boot. Australia 14, New Zealand 2. Four goals from four attempts to Mick Cronin. 23 on the tr trot. Can he make it 24? I don't think Cronin's got a nerve in his body by the same token. I don't believe that he'd even have it on his mind. It's just another kick at goal. Dennis Williams kicks off. Taken by Price. Dropped behind. Picked up by Fay. Left wing three quarter. Big strapping player. Poponis. Last try scorer at dummy half. Olling. Olling's starting to. Uh, He's given uh, Lindsay Proctor a nice old hand off there. Proctor came in all a rage and fury, but it was all over by then. The damage had been done. Ready. <laughs> Little chip over the top by Fulk, trying to find the open spaces. Oh, Jordan did magnificently. No, you're not tackled, son. You can run. What a beautiful dive to take that ball. And uh, around the ruck comes Alan Rushton. On the blind side they go. Cole. Harry Ede. Back inside to uh, oh, Philippona spilt it again. He's had an unhappy match, Philippona. Came into the game with a big rap. We've had 15 minutes of the second half. Straight to lead 9-2 at half time. win another scrum. This has been one of the major uh, surprises to me with uh, New Zealand with two hookers in their front row. Rushton was a representative hooker and uh, the current hooker Glenn Taylor. Uh, surprised they don't switch around and try to do something. They've got to get some ball. They're uh, down about uh, 12 to 3 or 4 at the moment. Dan O'Hara. Rogers rides him to the ground. Ten metres from halfway. Still New Zealand taking too long to get back on side. Nice pass on to Smith from Filipina. He said the ball lost. Both dead tackle well. Edie. Pierce. Papanis. Holling. Olling always looking to unload the ball. He's at the halfway line. Paponis, Ian Thompson. He too trying to unload uh, and his arms free late. Fulton away to Cronin. Back inside then to Fulton. The 
referee saying, get off him. Norris, ready the dummy. A pass away to Price, and he dropped it out to Faye. Gets it down easy. No trouble at all. Price did well to hold that. The ball came into his hands, bobbled, and he snatched at it again. Let's see it again. A good try to uh, Big Fay, but put on the end of a three quarter line that uh, passes like that. Now, the ready break was the means of getting the play. There was Price having a second snatch at it. And Fay, although he carries the ball in the wrong hand, from a Fenn point of view, he was able to evade Jordan's tackle. Now, from head on, this way. Quick hands along the line. The New Zealand is a little bit slow to move up. It was ready, getting in behind the defence here. The dummy got in behind Smith. And at that point, the try was on, so long as everyone caught the ball. Price timed his pass well. There was Fay on the outside of the last of New Zealand defender. And always going to score from there, with Jordan coming across in a despairing dive. So then, Australia now 17 points to two and crown on his most difficult kick to try to make it 24 in a row. He certainly had no difficulty with any of the four that he's had today. Four from four. outside the quarter, about five minutes from the sideline. Well, it looks just unbelievably good. Yes, indeed. Mick Cronin, five from five, and that's his 24th consecutive kick, successful kick. Two Alfridge is out treating him at the moment. Yes, well, that was a collision, uh, an accidental one, I believe. Edie takes that well right on his quarter line. Brings it back to within eight metres of the uh, halfway line. Faye gets rid of Fred Arcoy to... Ready? his leg with a tackle. Got a hamstring. He says he'll be OK. As Ian Thompson trying desperately to get himself into the clear so that he can unload, but uh, it's not one of those days for him. Morris, full, quick hands, Cronin, Rogers leaves it behind, it's picked up by Filipina, he's through one tackle, going strongly, gets a pass away, and it's a horror pass, it really was a horror pass. He just didn't look, and he's got a great big grin on his face at the moment, and uh, he should have a very bad look on his face at the moment for bombing a, what could have been a try. And I see with horror one of his teammates patted him in a compassionate way on the backside, as much as to say, bad luck, mate. I should have got a cloud over the ear for throwing a pass like that. Heavens, you don't make breaks in test matches and throw the ball over the sideline. Oliphant uh, stripped on the sideline for uh, Australia, number 14. He'll be taking, we would assume, the place of uh, Morris shortly. Uh, now then. Papanis falls on the ball after Fred Arcoy loses it going forward. Ready, straight into the defence, then unloads it to Edie. Edie seemingly recovered to Rogers. Rogers up the sideline, a nice diving tackle. Gets him over the sideline. Jordan was one of the, uh, the two. Graham Edie coming off for Australia. Graham Edie coming off, so what have we got now? We've got uh, Harry Faze back at fullback and Oliphant's on the left wing at this moment. It looks like Edie's done a hamstring, I'd say. And a penalty to Australia. Incorrect feed. Well, Edie walking from the field, I think uh, quite definitely it's a hamstring. a sympathetic round of applause. I'd like to know as soon as he's replaced. We have Oliphant on, but uh, Jordan takes that kick, which failed a fine touch. 19 points to two, Australia. Three tries and five goals. To two points. Back 
Hawks and uh, Cole, Eid, Sterling out then to Williams. Williams to uh, Dane O'Hara. Good strong tackle there by Boosted and Price. Williams, Lindsay Proctor, putting it together better now than New Zealanders. Rushton swung to ground by Rogers Proctor. Eid, Filipina. You could hear the Australian players calling out, taking him out, Bose. Bozo being uh, Bobby Fulton, of course. Williams. Elects to kick. That one's a. Uh, What was that pullback for? It was out the four. I think it landed on the line. Oh, I thought it uh, landed in the field of play. My mistake. Right, and New Zealand scrum win. One of the very rare ones. And we'll get the statistics from Barry Ross on the uh, 12 scrums. 12-5 the scrums out of Australia's way. It's two and a half to one. Sterling makes a small gain with a tap from dummy half. We've got 15 minutes of this game to go. Australia leading 19 to two. Eid, Smith, Williams, Jordan slips as he comes into the line. Very pedestrian performance by New Zealand. Williams back inside. The opponent's the tackler there. Taylor. Williams seems to be New Zealand's main method of attack is to kick from Williams. Oliphant to Faye. Comes back inside. Up towards halfway. Oliphant. Morris not been able to uh, get himself into any open situations to show that uh, pace of his. So Ray Brannigan will get a uh, reprieve to the Manly side for their match against, uh, who is that, Newtown tomorrow? Newtown. It's a fullback replacement for Graham Beattie. Well, touched by a New Zealand player, Lapona. He evades Bostead. It's a pass back inside to Dana Hara. Out the sideline. And uh, Faye comes at him with a fine tackle. He gets him in a touch. Well, a close look at Lapona, number three on the New Zealand side, shows uh, a massive pair of legs. He really has got... Look at the leg development, the thigh development on this man. No wonder he busts tackles. She would have had a bigger impact on this game if they could have got some ball. It's his first test today too, Rex, so perhaps he's got a few doers for some of those earlier lapses. Yes, I may have been a bit harsh on him. I just, I don't like players looking happy when they've made a terrible blunder. I think they can at least uh, pay lip service to being a little bit unhappy about it. Cronin, just tackled by uh, Dennis Williams. Rogers, ready. Nice pass to Oliphant. It's Murray Eid coming over the sideline. Looks like he's done a shoulder and elbow. Murray Eid being assisted by the trainer. Number 15 coming on there is Gary Prom. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's correct. Another Australian scrum win. We're up to uh, how many now on these scrums? That's the uh, 13th win to five. 14th to five. 14 to five. The kick. Dan O'Hara takes it. He showed a bit of pace on a couple of occasions. There's the replacement, Prom. All the vigour you'd expect from a fresh player, number 15. New Zealand have not really been able to make much impression. The one run by Filipina. As Smith got himself into the clear, but trips as he comes to the quarter line. Uh, it was the only time when Filipino made that break that they really looked like scoring a try. Australia's defence has been excellent. A little bit pedestrian and attack Australia. One disappointed with the amount of ball they've had. Here we go. A well taken. Bostead, under pressure. 
has had uh, a very sound test to do. Faye. First set away to Reddy. Ready to crown it. He gets himself into the clear and a dive from Dennis Williams despairingly. Just tapped his ankle again. He might well have gone another 30 or 40 metres. Ready with a nicely timed pass to Morris. Oh, that wasn't a good pass to Oliphant. That wasn't a good pass. That was a little bit flamboyantly done. And uh, unfortunately uh, for the lad, it didn't come off. Smith pulled that one right out of the clouds. That was a terrible pass. Well, I guess they'll take it any way they can. They're getting so little of it from set scrums. Prom away to Baxendale. Back to uh, Prom. Ben Taylor. Sterling, Tony Cole, Price finishes him off over the top, we've got nine minutes to go, Australia leading by 19 points to two. Williams, Jordan chiming in. He's done on several occasions today. Sterling. Smith kicks. Faye takes it. So he's been a fullback all his life. He has played a couple of uh, times this year at fullback with South Sydney Rex. Jack Gibson's moved him there at half time against, uh, I think it was East earlier on this year. Lindsay Proctor attempting to uh, trip one of the Australian players, Price, but uh, didn't make contact. He's not had a great uh, part in this game today, Proctor. Thompson. Thompson had a quietish game. And he made the one handling error, so that will stand him in good stead. Cran off a ready pass. There he goes. The little fellow in to score a test try. First hit. Unselfishly from Cranon, and that's uh, really the first time Cronin has been able to get himself into the clear and he does exactly the right thing as soon as he capped the defence. Now watch it again, the ready pass was superb. Cronin straight out nicely, looks across, transfers the ball to two hands, unloads it as he slows down and he knows he's done his job, the professional don't need to back up so long as the pass is taken, it was there. And the uh, crowd loved that because this uh, 18 and a half, no I'm sorry, 19 year old from head on. Now watch Cronin look inside to watch the defence, the, the class of the player. Bosted coming inside him, probably called him, did Cronin? And then that great pass, and the little fella kicks away from a tiring New Zealand defence to score Australia's fourth try. And obligingly, fairly near the post for McCronin. It's uh, Boosted's fourth try from four representative games, Rex. Three in the Interstate Series in one day. Yes, he's had a marvellous month. Like him, a little fellow. In a smile in Queensland. Six foot six. That's his 25th successful kick at goal. <laughs> Australia's still in possession. Price having style on the ball. Out to Oliphant. Comes back inside. Rather a puny defence from New Zealand who are letting the Australians run pretty at will at the moment. Nice pass from Olling there on to Pierce. Pierce uh, has been doing more talking than usual out there today. Thompson nicely into uh, Morris again. Up to the quarter line. 24 points to two. 15,077 the crowd. Ready, the dummy. Gives it back to Price. Price still going. Gets it away to Fulton. Fulton then to Greg Pierce. Pierce away to Reddy. Reddy changes direction. It's a pass then to Oliphant, who's come back in field. Out to Fulton on the sideline. Threw a dummy to nobody. <laughs> I don't know how he expected them to take that one. He threw a dummy on the outside. 
Rice to Faye. Faye loves to score tries from here. There he goes. He's lost it. Got over the line and lost it. Let's see it again from head on. It'll show fairly clearly what the action was. Now watch Faye as he comes towards us, barreling through the defence. Over, over, and a bounce. The referee rightly claiming that uh, he bounced the ball in the end goal. From Williams back into Proctor. Proctor's hurt his left leg. It's up rather. No, he doesn't get up. He's. Uh, he looks to me as though he's carrying ligament damage in both knees. This fella. On comes the ice bag for him. Into the dying minutes of the game. With the Barry Ross to bring you up to date on the statistics and scorers. Australia's 24 points have come from tries from George Paponis, Kerry Bastet, Steve Rogers and Terry Fay. Mick Cranon has kicked six goals from six attempts. Oh dear, oh dear. Crom came in nicely. He took a pass off Sterling, ran well and then threw the pass straight on the ground to a, an Australian player. Chris Jordan has kicked a lame goal, one goal from two attempts. The scrums at this stage are 14 to 7, Australia's way, and the penalties are 9 8, also Australia's way. Australia now looking to uh, add to that massive 24 points to 2. There's Ron Ackland steering out there. What goes on on the head of a coach whose side is down 24 to 2? Pierce, way to Cronin. Stood up there and got it away to Faye. Price left it behind, no knock on. The referee sets away to Bostead. He threw it straight to a New Zealand, to Prom. And there's the mowing tackle that uh, Gary Prom will remember. Filipina. Proctor recovered. Back to Cole, who had a quiet second half after a good first half. Ray Baxter Dale. There's Prom, the replacement who came on for um, Murray Ede. Murray Ede, the lock forward, you're right. Smith has been a goer all day, the 5 8 on the New Zealand side. Hasn't taken a backward step. There's a Williams kick, which is a good one. And well taken by Fay, and not only well taken, but well run back. Oh, gee, that's well done. A bit of exhaustion there, I think. He's been a pretty involved player today. Ready running from dummy half. Still going, runs again. And there's the Hooter going. Loud in the background. Australia have come away convincing winners and in front of an amended crowd of 16,577. They must have found another thousand somewhere. But Frank Dan uh, congratulates uh, Terry Randall, who was sitting beside him. and. Uh, Congratulated by Randall, I've been the coach of the Australian side. There, the Australians coming from the field with the New Zealanders intermingled there, 24 points to two. Yes, a runaway victory to Australia, winning 24 points to two. Just recapping, tries to Faye, Rogers, Bostead and Paponis and Cronin.